Welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. My name's Todd. If this is your first time to the channel, thanks for joining us. If you're coming back to watch new videos, hey, thanks for that too. Today, we're gonna to be working on our rotary cutter on my tractor. I was out this morning doing some cutting and I broke the shear pin that connects the PTO shaft to the gearbox on the cutter. Uh, you'll see that behind me here. Uh, the PTO shaft is just laying here on top of the cutter. It didn't come out. Uh, it just started spinning. I could tell immediately that the blades on the cutter stopped spinning. So I knew something was wrong. And when I got a close, got out of the tractor and took a closer look at it, I could tell that the uh, shear pin had been broken. So I went up to my Ace Hardware store, got a new bolt. It's basically a bolt is all it is. And uh, I'll put that bolt in it. Uh, so while I'm doing that, I think I'll go ahead and change the blades. I've got a new set of blades for the cutter too. So I'll do that while I'm uh, working on it and maybe even change the oil in the gearbox. So come along with us and we'll get all that work done. Okay, so I've got the tractor in the garage now. Here's the bolt that broke. Uh, you can see that uh, it just sheared off there. It snapped off. And I don't know if that was from uh, being worn or if it, uh, and I'm not quite sure why that just broke straight off like that. So I've got another bolt. I'm gonna replace that. And that goes between the PTO shaft and the gearbox, you can see here. Uh, here's the hole in the PTO shaft for it and then in the gearbox there you see the shaft coming out of the gearbox so before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and replace the blades uh, on my cutter I have the, a new set of blades here and uh, while this shaft is off and everything's r easily rotated I'm going to uh, take that opportunity to take these old blades off and replace them the way you do that is through this access hole here and if you can see down in there, there's a big nut there. And you take that nut off and your blade comes out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change those uh, while I'm doing this work. So to get that big nut off down there, uh, I've got a 42 millimeter socket. Uh, it's a three quarter socket, but I only have a half inch uh, drive impact wrench. So I've got a three quarter to half inch adapter there it'll put everything together and I'm hoping this is going to come off without a whole lot of effort so let's see actually what I'm going to do is get the socket on first okay got it on there and that was get the impact driver on All right, let's see how it goes watch your ears So that came off pretty easy. Here's the, here's the nut, and now you can see down in there, I put the light. There is a lock washer in there. Let's see if I can get that off. Yeah, so there's the lock washer, and then there's the, uh, the bolt sticking out. So what I'm going to need to do maybe is uh, get something and tap on the top of that bolt or maybe even pound on it to get the blade to come out. Let me take you underneath. So here we are underneath and uh, here's the blade and you can see the, the nut 
there. Uh, it may just fall out. Let's see if I can wiggle this. Let me set you up on the tripod and I'll see if I can just wiggle it and it may come out that way without having to knock it out from the top. Okay, so there's the bolt. Let's see if I can, by wiggling the blade, if I can get it to come out. Yep, okay, there we go. Here's the old blade compared to the new blade. And uh, I think you can see this one's, the edge is worn off quite a bit. If we put them on top of each other, you can see how much of this edge is worn off of here. And as they say about most blades, including rotary cutter blades or lawnmower blades, most of the cutting is done at the outer tip. So you can see that this one's uh, pretty worn, pretty worn, pretty beat up. So uh, it's, it's time, time for a change. So we'll put this, uh, this one back on and uh, put the bolt back in. One thing to be aware of on these bolts um, is that they have a little nib on it here, if you can see that, uh, which uh, links into a slot underneath on the uh, stump jumper part of it. So when you put this in, you want to make sure that this little notch or this little nib that's sticking out here is in that notch. Uh, otherwise, it will not... Uh, uh, go up in there properly and this also keeps it from turning when you're tightening it up so you don't have to hold anything on this side if you put this into the notch then when you tighten the nut up it holds it in place so i'll show you that underneath also so here we are underneath and here is the uh the hole that that bolt goes into and if you can see right there it's the notch that i was referring to that uh, accepts that little nib that sticks out on the bolt. So you want to make sure that when you put the bolt in, you align that little nib on the bolt with this slot here so that uh, it'll engage properly. So now I'm going to put the uh, new blade on and it's worth mentioning that uh, you want to make sure that you put your blades on uh, in the right orientation, meaning that uh, the flat side is down, or I should say in the, the proper orientation for the rotation of the, of the blade. So it goes like this, and the, the cutter is rotating. Uh, I guess that would be counterclockwise if you're looking at it uh, from the top. Um, so I've left the other blade on so I can kind of look at that blade and know which way this one goes. So what I'm doing is holding this up with one hand. Uh, I'm going to align my, my notch with the notch here. And you can feel when it goes in. See how easy that slid in? Now, if I turn it and I try to push it in, See, it doesn't go all the way up. There's a gap between there. So if I turn it to where that, that notch aligns, you see it goes all the way up in there. And that'll pretty much stay there. The, the pressure of the leverage from the uh, blade is gonna hold that in place for me. So uh, I'm gonna go up top now and put the nut on. So now I'm up top. Uh, and I'm going to try to put this nut on. I've tried to move this where you can see uh, the nut. And this is one reason I wanted to leave that, uh, that shaft off. See how easy this is to turn? I can basically reach down in here and just kind of move it around with my hand. If you have the PTO shaft on it and attached, it's much more difficult to, uh, to try to move this around. Uh, I know you probably won't be able to see this once I get my hand in the way, and, but I'm going to put the lock washer on first. And then I have the nut that goes on next. And I have read in some forums that people recommend you replace the, the nuts, the bolt and the nut, when you replace the blade. Uh, 
And I do have a new set of uh, the bolt and nut, but these look okay, so I'm gonna go back with them and uh, just keep the ones that I bought for extras in case I do have a problem in the future. Okay, so I've got that nut up there, kind of just hand tightened. And then I want to just make sure underneath that I am still lined up in that slot so that when I start to tighten this, it will not uh, go up into the wrong spot. And it looks like it is still there. So let me spin it around again. There we go. And I'll put my socket on it. Now we're going to tighten her up. Okay. That should be it. Now we're ready to do the next one. So as I said, we're going to do the next one. I'll just go ahead and do this one. There's no need for me talking you all the way through. It's going to be the same process. So uh, I'll just kind of go through it quickly and uh, you can just watch it on the video here's the other nut All right, so there you go. There's the new blades in place. And uh, now we'll move up top and uh, work on replacing that shear pin that I snapped. Before I work on that shear pin, um, I'm gonna check the oil in the gearbox and maybe even change this. Uh, I'm not sure how much this takes. I don't know if this is enough, but uh, I'll, I'll check and see. But this is some 90 weight uh, axle and gear oil. And here's the fill plug. So, uh, and it's got a sight glass here, but you really can't see uh, anything in that sight glass. Um, let me see. Uh, so I'm gonna take, take this out, see how it is, and uh, either add some or replace it. Let's see. I'm going to drop the, uh, the cutter down to kind of a more level uh, attitude because right now I've got it up high because I was up under it putting the blades on and so it's tilted back. So I'm going to drop it down a bit. All right, that looks like it's fairly level. Uh, so now I'm gonna pop that, uh, that nut out of the back and see what we get. Well, 
Well, it was much higher than that plug. Okay, man, that's quite a bit, quite a bit more in there. Uh, That was quite a bit more in there than what was above the drain plug, but um, I'm not sure if this actually has a drain plug on the bottom of it or not, but I have like a big syringe thing that is made just for this. I have it right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that old oil out. Let's see how much is in there. Below that. Okay, well, see how much more. This was, I think it was overfilled, because this, I believe, is what should be just in the bottom of the thing. That's what the sight glass is for. So let me pull this out. And I don't know if I can squeeze this out in here or not. Or maybe just leave it. For now, uh, I have a little cap that goes over the end. Well, it doesn't go over that end, does it? All right, we'll just leave this for now. I'll put it somewhere, like right there. And let me see if I can empty that out and see if there's any more in there that I can pull out. out of here so that was quite a bit in there oh, let's see Excuse me. All right. Let's see what else has we got down in here. Well, now that I've got oil on the end of this thing, they don't want to stay on. Maybe if I put some suction on it. Nope. Well, that's, that's a piece of work in it. Let me see if I can wipe this out a little bit so it'll stay on there. Alright, let's see, will that do it? Yeah, let's see what we can get.
right now, just here, air. All right, so I'm gonna put the uh, plugs back in and refill it now. I went and washed my hands to try to get some of that oil off. Man, that is a mess. Um, I'm not sure if you can see through this, uh, through this sight light or not. Yeah, I guess you can. Um, just looking down in there to see how clear that was so I could tell when I have it uh, full to the proper amount. Which I guess you can do the same thing by leaving that drain plug out and filling it to uh, when it uh, starts to overflow the drain plug because that's kind of the way you would do it. So, yeah, so you can see at that sight, little sight gauge there. Okay, so let's, let's do it. I think I have a little funnel so I can just pour this in. Okay, I've got my funnel here. There we go. Pour this bad boy. Oh, that's that's a new one. Okay. All right, let's go for it. Got to get where I can kind of see that sight gauge there. Let me get over here. Okay, there it goes. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it just filled that one up above the sight gauge. And if I had some more, yeah. Watch it, it's gonna start coming out right here. So that's really all you're supposed to have in it. I don't know why that had so much in it before. Um, but anyway, we don't do what was done, we do what's right. All right so uh, this looks like it had some thread, some kind of red sealer on it but I'm gonna try it without it and see see what it does if it's leaking then I will come back and uh, and add some some thread sealer to it Nothing like working in the grease. Okay. Wipe that off good. And then we have our top plug. We want to put back in. Okay, there we go. Have the oil changed in our gearbox now. So the last thing we need to do is fix what actually prompted all of this maintenance is the shear pin that broke uh, in the PTO shaft. Now we're on to the original chore 
that prompted all of this maintenance. We're going to uh, replace the shear pin that uh, broke earlier. And hopefully this will be the easiest of all of the chores. So uh, let me see if I can turn this now that we have the, the blades back on it. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. I want to get it. So um, you'll see this plastic cover here. It has this little access hatch on the top. And there's one on the bottom. There you go. And that is meant for uh, getting access to this bolt. So, uh, you know, I was really kind of surprised that uh, the original bolt, let me show you, was uh, a grade 8 bolt. Uh, and the way you can kind of tell is if you look at the head of it, see those little marks on the top? If you count those, it tells you kind of the grade. So I was surprised that it had a grade 8. I'm going back with this lower grade, the grade 5, um, because I want this to break before anything else breaks. And a grade 8 is kind of the strongest grade bolt uh, you can have. So uh, now granted, this, uh, this cutter has a clutch on it. Let me move this over where you can see the PTO shaft, Ooh, which is heavy. Has a clutch on it there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring the camera around. There, you can see the clutch. And uh, that clutch spins or slips. Uh, if you hit something or when you're engaging and disengaging the PTO so you don't have, I think they call it PTO run-on or something like that, where basically you have the momentum of the uh, blades in your cutter twirling. And then when you cut the PTO off, it will tend to continue to spin. Uh, so in some tractors that can damage the PTO. I don't think that's the case in this one, but these clutches uh, uh, will help out a lot. And I did notice, too, that <clears throat> there is a, a grease zerk here, which, to my chagrin, I have not been greasing. So I'm going to, while that's open, I'm going to do that. And maybe that's also what that access hatch there is for. So I'm going to grease those, uh, those grease zerks before I put this thing back together. Got my grease gun. Let me get over here and put some grease in those U joints. And I'm a bit embarrassed that I didn't know those were in there. I've been greasing the uh, actual coupler. Whoops. But not the, not the U joint itself. And actually, they may be may be clogged. Now that I just tried to push some grease in there and it didn't go. Let's make sure I've got this on there. Yep. There we go. Okay. That's good. All right, let's take a look and make sure everything is good. Yep, that's the same one. <laughs> I was just about to say, is there another one on the other side? But that's the, that's the same one. Just got one. So, uh, <clears throat> get up here and just make sure. Yeah. All right, that's good. All right, and then we're going to slide this back up on the shaft and put our, our uh, bolt back through it and tighten her up, and then we should be ready to go. All right, let's see if I can get that up in there now. There we go. Now I just gotta get it turned around to where the holes line up. a screwdriver so I can kind of finesse that thing into place. If I 
can get it up here. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave that right there for now, and then get my uh, my screw in. All right. So I got that screwdriver through there now, and uh, let me see if I can get the bolt through there without it moving on me. There we go. You get the nut on the bottom side. Okay, now let me get a, uh, a socket to tighten that up. All right, that looks good. Now, all I have to do is reconnect my PTO shaft here. And I'll be ready to go. This is always fun, <clears throat> nothing like Trying to pull back on something and push forward on something at the same time. Let's see. Come on. Okay. All right, put our guard down, connect our safety chain back up. There we go. Now I just need to button this back up, which is just a matter of putting these little covers back over. It's got a little tab that pushes through that one and then on the bottom and there we go oh, I noticed this chain is off so I need to fix it right here what's going on with it clips on where did I have that clip to is there a hole here on this card I don't remember yeah there it is it's way over here on the side and then we'll get this safety chain reconnected here go everything is back together we can go try it out now okay guys that's it that was changing the blades uh, changing the gearbox oil and replacing the shear pin on our frontier rotary cutter uh, 
maintenance work that needed to be done. So I'm glad I got it all done today. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know that you like this kind of content. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up to date with all of our videos and be sure to ring that bell notification so that anytime I post a new video, you'll get notified. Thanks again for watching.